Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Clueless Eats. Not actually done a specific Clueless Eats episode for quite a while. And uh, I love Sriracha. Um, as much of a basic bitch and typical ignorant westerner, as much as that makes me sound like one of those people, um, I absolutely love Sriracha. I pretty much put it on everything um obviously aside from steak because i'm not a complete animal we all know you never need a sauce with steak you just could eat it in its own juices but um yeah whether it's a, a pasta dish whether it's topped off on leftover uh i forgot what the thing's called lasagna um, whether it's mixed with a little bit of mayonnaise, even though you can buy sriracha may mayonnaise, of course, um, mm -hmm. it doesn't really matter. Even with like chips, just I love the flavour. Um, it's the right amount of heat to be enjoyable, and the flavour is just absolutely bang on, and it works on everything. And I'm one of those people. So when I saw that Walkers were doing a sriracha flavoured crisp I was like I need to get a pack of those uh, that was about three weeks ago and um, I'd never been able to find any up until today when I was uh, getting some uh, food for a hangover fry up and uh, I noticed that they were selling six packs of these as well as the other flavour, which is uh, barbecued pulled pork. But I thought, I'm not going to get two six-pack packs of crisp. I mean, do I look like the sort of person who would just eat a big packet of crisps to himself? I don't think so. Yes, that is a packet of crisps that's lying next to my bed. And yes, I am sat on the floor. What of it? So, I thought, I've got to get these. And, uh, yeah... Just, I'm so happy that there's uh, yet more sriracha flavoured items. Um, one of my favourite things to do, and this is like typical uber westerner, is getting some cheap ramen noodles, making it and then just, just squirting um, <laughs> sriracha all over it. And uh, yeah, I'm ju I just love it. And I need to get one of those t-shirts that you can get. Anyway, I've waffled on for way too long over my love of sriracha. I even have sriracha powder mix, which I've not really used too much, and I need to. Um, the only thing is, I've never tried, like, third-party <laughs> um, or bootleg sriracha from, like, supermarket's own brand, which I might have to do. So, yeah, anyway, a 25-gram packet, and uh, a little bit small. I'm sure in multipacks, crisps are getting smaller and smaller. Aren't you, aren't you sick to death of people saying that? Like, oh, I remember when curly whirlies were about three times the same. It's like, yes, we know. But there are people like me who are disgustingly fat. And we need to try and tackle that problem. Um, but then again, two small packs makes you feel a little bit guilty compared to eating big packs sometimes. Or oh, that's just psychology that I use in my sick brain. Uh, if anybody actually cares about the uh, nutritional information on a packet of crisps, I'm not going to say anything else because I don't cause any offence because um, I am a lover, not a fighter. So, part of the Trending Taste series, which I hope is an ongoing series, um, introduce a new spicy sriracha flavour inspired by Britain's love of spicy Southeast Asian flavours. Have you tried mm -hmm. other Trending Tastes flavour? Have you tried our, our other Trending Tastes flavour? I thought that was like a, a terrible typo there. But that's no, just my terrible ability to read. So have you tried the pulled pork? No, I would probably do it because I do like pulled pork. And then of course you've got all the information for walkers. So yeah, I do like it when walkers do the like the weird flavours because they did the uh, Brussels sprouts flavour uh, for Christmas as well as like the roast turkey, which is just 
I didn't have it, but I can just imagine it tasting like a slightly tweaked version of chicken crisps. Chicken flavour crisps just always taste very generic to me. I'll eat them. I'll never turn down a crisp. I will devour a full bag of crisps, as you clearly see. Um, because I love crisps. <laughs> I absolutely adore crisps. I like softer crisps like this. I like kettle crisps. I like uh, even like naan bread crisps and lentil sort of crisps. Just snacks like that, I could just, and you can probably tell, I could just eat and eat and eat and eat. So yeah. And yeah, I do I do really appreciate Walkers because they've done like the Marmite flavour. Um I like that like that tomato ketchup flavour they did. And of course, cheese and onion is like one of the go-to flavours, especially from Walkers. So anyway, that's what it looks like inside. Just in case uh, you're one of those people who's never seen inside the bag of crisps before. Can you tell I'm not a food reviewer? And uh They do actually have the smell of sriracha, actually. <sighs> really nice. A little bit of tomato as well. It almost has a slight tomato ketchup uh, crisp flavour to it. But yeah, there's like a slight peppery meatiness there as well. It smells really good. So that's what the crisps look like. Uh, that's not a fair representation because it just looks luminous there. But um, yeah. Definitely got some coloration there. It looks really nice. So let's uh, be a pig and stick it all in my mouth. Mm. That actually tastes like sriracha. Obviously, just even though. Sriracha is not a spicy um, sort of a um, hot sauce, I suppose you'd say. It still doesn't have the kick that you would if you, you squoze some sriracha on your finger and put your finger in your mouth, that sort of thing. A little bit of a kick on the back end, though. Mm. I do enjoy the consistency of Walker's Crisps. Although I have found uh, crisps, like, I keep going to this just bag of Lay's on the floor. I actually prefer the consistency of Lay's. So these are the uh, uh, Polish um, adaptation of Lay's. Um, it's all the same company anyway, but they seem to have a really more gentler uh, texture to it. Almost like um, paper-like, but without it being papery. Do you know what I mean? Like a thin sort of like dried paper and just nice little crumble. These are nice and gentle as well. Mm. It's absolutely spot on. And I, I can't believe it. It's like you've got sriracha flavouring mix and sprinkled it into the crisp. A little bit of prickly heat on the back end. But again, we all know that structure's not really hot anyway. But yeah, that that's they're fantastic. Mm. They really, really are. And as luck would have it, I do have a beer. Uh, we've got the Mango Milkshake IPA, which is a collaboration between Tiny Rebel and La Brasserie du Mont. La Brasserie du Mont. And this is a can of the Salida. Um, part of um, Beer 52's Citizens of Everywhere box, which is uh, pitting UK breweries with European breweries. You know, the whole... Even in the midst of Brexit, we can come together, which I think is a really good message, actually. But we're not going to get political, especially on a crisps video. So, uh, yeah. I can imagine this 
pair in nicely with something like this. Although I've got to say, the beer itself, I have done a review of it. You might have seen it, you might not. A little bit lackluster, but I think with the, the pepperiness and the spiciness from the sriracha and the mango flavour, might give you a little bit of a, a spicy mango chutney sort of flavour. Which I do sometimes get in some IPAs recently. So I'll have a little taste. Have a crisp. It actually goes well, but crisps and beer will always go well so that's not really flavour and yes I do eat my crisps weird you should see me eating Pringles because I love licking the flavour off the Pringle and mulching it in my mouth mm. they're really good they really really are um, hopefully they keep this flavour around for a while, especially since I've only just been able to find a place where I can buy it. And yeah, if you like Sriracha, if you're a, a hipster fuckboy basic bitch like me, then you're going to really, really enjoy these. They've done an absolutely fantastic job. They really, really have. Mm. And you pair it with a, a mango IPA. You've got mango chutney. Fantastic stuff. So, if you come across them, get yourselves a six pack or an individual pack or even a, a mega pack like this. Oh, I would demolish. I, if Look at the size difference. If they put these in a... How big is this? Say the 215 gram, almost... Nearly 10 times bigger. That'll be gone in a matter of minutes. Lovely stuff. So if you tried them, let me know your thoughts and opinions down below. Have you tried the pulled pork flavour? Uh, what's your favourite like novelty flavour crisp that you've had? What's your favourite Walker's Lay's crisp? Just hit me up in the comments and uh, yeah, another video that really has no meaning. But uh, you sat and watched it anyway. So I do appreciate that. And uh, thank you all for watching. See you later.